you'll be able to see the post right away. So make sure you follow. Everybody in here should be following now. Oh, it's a nice pink, nice base color. That nice sharp stiletto there. Oh. Trying to focus in for you guys. It's the lighting in here, it's driving me nuts. That's way too much powder. Should be just enough right here. I need to change the lighting in the room because it's, it makes it makes it hard to the, the camera to focus. I need warmer lighting. hardest to do because it's the smallest but you could do it right it's just about that much for the apex i could add a little bit more apex if i wanted to hey edgar how are you <laughs> he hasn't <laughs> i don't know why when you came in edgar it reminded me of the uh, q a last night for some reason <laughs> that is funny uh, when i start sharing story times i did change the q a to story time with now dad <laughs> Story time with now dead. There we go. Thank you, Naomi. Rodriguez. I'm in Orlando. Thank you, Adriana. Hey, first, last, love of all. <laughs> Her name's Melissa from Boston. Uh, oh, Melissa Boston from Barbados. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that volume's on. One, two, three. I know, just give you a three second rule there. So, for the giveaway, I will definitely be giving away my dampen dish right here, the gel polish, uh, the new gels that came in, the black and white. And also probably my top coat and matte top coat that just came in also. Hmm. That's a good little giveaway there. For Mother's Day. And I'll probably throw some, some acrylic powder in there too. How about that? Some chisel powder. No monomer though, because I'm out of monomer. <laughs> Oh, there you go. I'll use this thing as a black background. Nice. Okay. Perfect. I needed some black background to offset the white. And the top to my dampen dish is perfect for that. Good job. I'm gonna put a little more powder, it's a little bit thin here. I'm gonna make sure that I'm flushing the cuticle. Just right here.
Let's make sure the top is even. I'm gonna put some abstract French on here later. That is a pretty pink though. Mm-hmm. You know what I haven't done in a while? A one bead. Let's see if I can do a one bead. That was too small. I'm gonna bring in. Mm -hmm. So are really hard to pinch the acrylic off. So you gotta really, really just use your finger and just do this because it gives it a nice sharpness to it, okay? It's just flushed. If I gotta do more apex, I'll do more apex. She has a very small nail bed, so I gotta be careful how much powder I put on here. I don't wanna make it too bulky. I want it nice and finesse. Go back to the one bead here. This is two beading. First bead. I'm about to give about maybe three seconds for the monomer to work itself to make it nice and buttery. Then I'll start moving the powder through. You do every client nail in the same jar. A what? Do you dip every client nail in the same jar? Dip. I'm using. I'm doing acrylic. What? What she asked? If you do dip, if you do, do you, do you dip? dip every client's nails in the same jar? Uh, I don't do dip, but if I do dip, yeah, I would. There's nothing wrong with. I don't think there's anything wrong with dipping. And you're dipping the actual the nail. It's dry. It's not like it's a wet powder that's gonna have any bacteria be able to grow in it. What you're. What you're. Have you ever had anybody had an issue with getting dip nails at a salon and getting an infection? No, never. Never reported. Just someone saying something and then everybody just following suit. I love your work watching from the Bahamas. Hey, thank you from Bahamas. Yes, Lisa, my aunt is in here. <laughs> My partner says I watch you all day. One, two, three. You're, I'm barely on all day, so your partner, your partner needs to relax. <laughs> My aunt says she would have came with me. She didn't know I was coming up here. Hi, nail dad. Someone said tips, question mark. Tips? What do you mean tips? Just tips. Mm, these tips are my stiletto tips, and I just cut the sides a little bit to make them a little sharper. Uh, my clear stiletto ones, I usually use them for stilettos or coffin. If it's coffin, I just cut the, the tip and make the coffin. But if I want really stiletto, I'll put the tip on it, and actually I'll, I'll, I'll cut the sides a little bit to make it more sharp, and I'll file in a little bit. And usually the stiletto tips you get, they're not really like stiletto, they're kind of like pointed, so they can do universally almond and such.
Right. That's just how he talks. She need to be careful. There's people in here. They'll come at her. One, two, three. So when you do one hand, you should be about finished with application. If you do it properly in about maybe 15, 20 minutes tops. Um, for a lot of you guys that want to increase your set time, it's all in the application, I promise you. Because later on when I do the filing and the drilling, it's going to be very fast. I'm not going to spend too much time doing that either. She said you, did, you do great work. Thank you. There you go. One hand down. Someone says stunning. And you don't have to do a lot of shaping later. This is it's very shaped already for you. And I'm just gonna use my hand file just to shape it. Hey, what's up, Jean? Jean, you're the one that had issues with polishing, right? Or uh, shaping. I'm gonna clean my brush a little bit. I'm gonna reset and start in the second hand. I'm going to do the same process over and over, two beating. It is chisel, Edgar. This is chisel 172. I really like this pink because it's a nice um, cover pink. You can use to put any design on top. I'm doing a multicolor French look later. So I'll probably use all my pastel paints from my pastel line, from my art, art gel art line, and then either matte or top coat it. I'm thinking matte for this. It'll look better matte. I think pastel and matte just looks really good together. What size brush do you use? This one I'm using right now is a 14. Um, but it's crimped though, so it's a little bit different than uh, if you're using a round brush. So 14 crimp could be arguably larger. Sounds crimped, sounds kind of square looking. And my monomer is getting a little bit contaminated. I may have to switch out my monomer to finish up the rest of this hand, just to make it easier on me. Do you use a dust collector? Oh no. I have a dust collector. Um, that This thing, the red towel underneath, is my dust collector. Generally, I don't file that much or drill that much, so most of the, my dust just sits right onto this towel and then I just throw it away. After applying the tips, do you blend it? If not, is it necessary you to blend it? You don't have to blend it. You blend where the tip is applied. That's a good spot. Um, just, just, just to get the tip less, you know, sticking up. But I see a lot of people blend the whole tip. You don't have to really blend the whole tip. Most people that do that, they're using um, a, a thicker tip. So they blend it to get, get rid of the thickness, that's about it. So you prefer the two bead method, um, method? Of course, two bead method is the most efficient method. One bead is just for you to show that you can do it. Two bead is the most efficient method that you can do. It gives you time to build foundation and also time to, you know, structurally position the nail a little bit better. My monomer is getting a little bit contaminated, so I'm gonna switch it out and finish up this hand. You gotta see the difference between the beads. See how the beads that I've been picking up is a little bit sticky? I'll show you when I'm about to pick it up. You guys need to understand when your monomer gets contaminated to make sure that you have to switch it out, because it's gonna be really horrible to work with. Contamination means that acrylic or pigments got into it, so it's like very sticky. But when I put it down, it sticks to my brush, is that? That's a residue. That's because the monomer has um, acrylic residue in it already. So fresh monomer won't do that, and I'll show you guys. And this is one issue why your brush gets um, all clogged up too. When you don't notice that, you're consistently working, you may not notice that your brush is getting clogged up with my, with um, acrylic over and over and over. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean this. Clean the brush with this monomer. 
And I only use 15 milliliters. Remember, I always fill up half of my dampen dish. Make sure I get that acrylic, all the acrylic out. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this old monomer because last the next thing I want to do is put my new monomer in here and get it contaminated again. So, I'm just gonna pour some more monomer. Just only like half, because I don't really need that much. That's a cool damp dampen dish. <laughs> yeah, this is my new one. <laughs> okay, so watch the difference between the beads now. See that? Watch when I drop the bead down. So bougie. You know you want one, Edgar. It's completely different. That's because my monomer is now clean. There's no acrylic in there. Enter in the giveaway tonight, Edgar, and you, you'll probably get one. I already ordered my top and matte polish and my drill bit. I'm so excited. Is that Edgar? No. Oh, Laura? Oh, you. Are you in my CT class, Laura? I feel like you're in my Connecticut class coming up. Laura, are you in the Connecticut class? I feel like you are. He said, I do. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? See, good thing about, one thing about the nail tech that you have to understand when the product is going bad. Edgar What's, said I missed that part. How do I enter? Um, you better be, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're following my Instagram, but you have to turn up the notification. I'll do the post tonight and um, it'll say, you know, hey, here's some rules and you follow it and then you just comment in the, in the post and then it'll, it'll enter you. I use this automated um I use this automated um app to select the winner. It just selects one of the persons from the comment area. Laura said no. Oh. Is the giveaway open to the US and the and in the UK? No. I'm not shipping UK unfortunately. I'm sorry, the last time I did that it just cost me like sixty euros to ship something. And I I, mean, I committed to it and I shipped it, but it wasn't worth it. Sorry guys, sorry UK people. But if you have a PO box and you know how to get to your to, to you yourself your own way, then perfect. But I'm not shipping internationally anymore. Edgar, so I follow you everywhere now, Dad. <laughs> yeah, but make sure you turn up the notification. You don't miss the post, okay? Sometimes even if you're following, you might not see the post. You have to turn on the notification, the bell. When you go to my page, go to the top right. There's a bell. Hit that. And for everybody that messaged last night about the San Jose and Denver classes and Vegas classes, um, I have responded to your DMs. Go ahead and check your DM. Usually I'll send you the information via my, my personal page. So um, you just gotta check your spam and DMs. If you're messaging the Nailed Studios page, um, I'd redirect you. It's easy for me to keep track who I sent messages out to. So these are filling up, they're limited. You want this class? Are you plan on having? Are you planning to have a class over here in Texas? I already did my Texas class already in uh, March. Houston, I did Houston in March. But we'll come back to Texas for sure. Did you do the giveaway for the student kit already? No, the student kit is hasn't been announced yet. I probably do that. I probably do that giveaway at twenty thousand uh, followers. For student kits. Hi, that color is beautiful. What type of design are we doing? I'm probably doing an abstract French with my pastels. Um, I've done this design before on coffin, but not on stiletto. I think it looks really good on stiletto also. Um, it'll be multicolor um, pastel with like gel art paint, and then a little bit abstract. It's an abstract French. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys see me done it a dozen times. It's pretty popular right now. Mm. 
I can't actually have people come by. We don't even disclose the location for San Jose classes um, for that reason. Uh, we only let the students know where the location because we have people that come by and it just disrupts the class. So we reserve the location only to um, students. I think one time we did the class and one of the students posted the location on a page and we had like 40, 30 people just stopping by all day and I was like, oh my God, no. For the safety of our students. I want to finish up here. I think we're about under 40 minutes here for this set, application-wise. And we're probably going to spend another 10 minutes with the shaping and hand filing. And then we're going to finish up under an hour for, before we do our design. So, yes, long stencil sets like this will run you about an hour, hour and a half, um, if you're efficient with your methods and how you're working. Edgar sent 145 stars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Edgar. We'll see you tonight for the Q&A, like always. So clean your brush. I know my brush is a little beat up. You can tell when you're fed the third set, it's sticking. You see that? You see that? This, you guys, it's important you guys know to clean this. Monomer, brush down, lightly push forward, and pull back, okay? You see that, now it's getting better and better. It's this little tiny residue acrylic in here. And sometimes you want to feel it. See it? I can feel the acrylic in here. I can just pinch it out. See that? Are you still doing virtual classes? I don't do virtual classes at all, actually. It's not my teaching style. So make sure you get rid of all that acrylic because don't come, don't come to work the next day and be like, oh my gosh, my acrylic brush is sealed up. It happens, even for the brush, best brushes. I probably have to do a really deep clean on this brush because I have some acrylic left over from uh, other times. But I make sure every time I'm finished, I'm gonna take care of the brush so that I don't have any issues. Now when you feather it through, it should go like that. That means that there's nothing sticking the bristles together. So see, I know there's a little bit of acrylic here. See that? Yeah, see this, right? Look how, look how I remove this. Is this a ritual class? I'm not going to... No. I'm not gonna pull. I'm just gonna nudge upward. It's gonna break the, the acrylic loose. And I clean it and then I form my brushes because this brush is crimped. So I'm gonna form it and train it like this. So it's gonna be like this when I use it again. So that's brush management. If you, keep, if you do this diligently, your brush will last you years. I do need a, a little bit of a deep clean on my brush. Since this is all my only set for the day because I'm gonna be out doing errands. I'm gonna throw away all my monomer. And there you guys go. This is 30 milliliters, okay? Ideally, I want my students and everybody to only use half of this per set. So once you achieve half per set, you'll be able to be very efficient and save a lot of money, okay? This is chisel solid 172. Now I wanna go on the shaping. And shaping, as you know, is not gonna, it's gonna be fairly easy because my shape is already there for my application. I'm just gonna go through and make everything more crisp. That's it, okay? And the more I shape, the worse my shape gets. So I'm gonna try to be careful not to overfile. Yes, overfiling. I talked about it all last night on the live when someone asked about shaping and filing. Do not overfile. And there you go. That's my stiletto, nice and sharp. I'm helping him answer questions. <laughs> you doing an interview? <laughs> or you just... No, <laughs> she's reading the comments for me while I'm working. <laughs> That's the first time I ever had that comment. It's weird, it's funny. 
Edgar said, so crisp and clean. Yeah. Just some drawing of blood. You see that? Just very quick. It should take about 10 seconds. The longer I do this, the more I'm going to remove it, and the worse the shape gets. Right? Back and forth. Back and forth. Yes, he is. Hey, now, Dad, hope everything is going great. Janae, I'm learning so much from you. Oh, hey, Kiana. I've been seeing your work. You've been doing great for yourself. <clears throat> nice to see some old faces from day ones. You guys have noticed? There you go. That's the shaping process. Um, a lot of you guys are spending five, 10 minutes per finger. Please don't do that. If you've done that, you've really messed up. Where do you live in Orlando? There you guys go. Very nice and sharp. Are your gloves thick and where can I purchase? I suffer from allergies on my fingers. Uh, my gloves aren't thick. They're just those some um, nitro gloves you can find on Amazon or any website. Um, these are called Black Seal. But I don't really like these because the dust sticks to them. I'm going to get some like more smoother ones. These are like two rubbery, so the dust sticks really crazy to them. Um, yeah, you can just find these on anywhere on the internet, actually. You don't have allergies. You have contact dermatitis. I have it too. That's why I wear gloves. It limits my exposure to the product, so I don't have a lot of outbreaks. May I ask what size, what site you use for your last giveaway? My what? Oh, what website do I sell my products? It's right in the pinned link below, nail-shop.com. A lot of stuff's out of stock, though, so look at the sharpness. What site do I use for my last giveaway? Uh, I just went on to, um, I went on to uh, Google and I was just like, uh, I put in like uh, Instagram giveaway thing and it, it gave me a site and I just put the link of the post I want to pick out of and it generates and it runs all the comments and it picks one based on my, my uh, description. So I don't remember what it's called actually. I just go on Google for everything. So goodbye, Go Tina. She did her did her nails yesterday. She came in, she's fixing now, she wants to take all off and she wants a full refund. For what? What'd she do? She did a manicure gel and a pedicure gel. Or no. a pedicure regular. No, we just fix it for her. There's no refund. Yeah. Refund final. Go tell her that. I don't know what she's I thought it was acrylic, it's like just because you're polished. Then the only time I have to do nails two, two two days a week. Two days a week? Two nails. <laughs> you better set them straight now the <laughs> I don't understand why they really think that they can get a pedicure manicure. Like, can I undo the pedicure manicure? No, I can't. Like, you have an issue with your polish? Okay, fine, we can repolish for you. We're not gonna take out the polish and just give you back a refund. It's not that works. People are just being freaking shady as hell. Can't afford to get your nails done? Don't go get your nails done. Like going to eat at a steakhouse after you finish the steak. I don't like the steak. Can I get a refund? Wow. 
Oh, she's coming back here. No, no, no. I'm currently in the lab. I'll talk to you later. Come on. I'll, I'll be out there later, okay? Do you need to talk to me? No, tell her to come in and talk to me. The, the other. Oh my God. I'm doing something. Hello, this lady is crazy. Do you sell the file you're using? Yeah. Is that 880. I mean, no, 880 this is a hundred by. Or... This is a hundred by hundred. It's not my website. It's a hundred by hundred. And there we go. We're done with the shaping. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to hand file. Best when you're doing stiletto to hand file because it gives you more surface area. And if you do your application really thin, then you actually actually really get very nice crisp um, stiletto. Look, it keeps the sharpness. A little bit too sharp to be honest. Um, you gotta be careful with this. See how it gives it like a spear look? Don't complain to me. Can you please tell me how you do that? I just showed you how I did that. <laughs> I'm showing you. I'm not to tell you, I'm showing you. Better than telling. Old school filing is the best. Yes, especially with the stilettos and longer nails. Um, I still have to go with my Joe bit to do my cubicle work though. How do you sign up for classes? You have to DM. DM to sign up for class. DM me and I'll send you the information. She can't commit murder with those, <laughs> with them. Yeah, that's what she's planning on doing. These them daggers. It's how when you do hand filing, you have to bring in the curvature of the actual stiletto. It actually keeps the sharpness without you have to worry about losing the sharpness. I guess she's gonna sit here until you're done. Wow. <laughs> she can. I'm gonna tell her the same thing they told her. There's no refund policy. We can repolish her nails. Someone else can do it. <laughs> How long do you think it's gonna take you to do all 
long does it take to get certified? As a nail tech, you probably depending on your local area. Uh, it may take about two months, depending on how many hours your nail salon, uh, your uh, your state is. So check with your local nail nail school. So you can Google it, nail school, nail academies, beauty academies, cosmetology academy. Cosmetology will take you longer. You want to go with the nail school or nail academy. Sometimes it's four to six weeks, or even six to eight weeks, depending on how many hours. <clears throat> You're from Hawaii? Um, check Hawaii. Put up in Google Hawaii hours and nail school completion, and then they'll tell you. Like maybe it's like four hours, four hours. And then you gotta go to school for like maybe two months or something like that. I love Google. You can find anything on there. My no my local nail school has a long wait list. Oh yeah? Where's that, Edgar? You don't have any other places? Damn, nail school is having a wait list. That just means nail techs are just oof. Edgar, you should have had your license by now. How long have you been in the nail? Looks like she's redoing her feet. Yeah, she can get a repolish. <laughs> you think it's a service, not a product. You're not Amazon. You can't return something. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back in time and remove that pedicure that we did on you yesterday. You don't understand that shit. Like, seriously. She can sit there all she wants. I'm telling the same thing that the manager up there told her. Well, she's like... like is it gives you that spherical shape when it comes to stilettos. Look at that. So it keeps that sharpness. See that? I'm a beginner since last year. Started during COVID. Work a lot. Still practice when I can. You need to set up a schedule for yourself, man. Not when you can. You got to set up a schedule that you're consistently practicing. That's one of the biggest issues. I always bring that up whenever a beginner asks, what's your best advice? I always say the first thing, um, Edgar, is set up a, a time, like, you know, per day. Even if it's 30 minutes, give the consistency, okay, to practice. Because you can't say when you can, because whenever you can, it could be once a month, once a week, twice a week. It's not going to be consistent enough for you to level up your game, you know? You don't want to feel like you're, you're, you're falling behind all the time. Listen to me, Edgar, when you start scheduling yourself or, or, or scheduling, you know, giving yourself a, a time per day to practice, you'll start to see that you're going to get more consistent in your, your work. And you actually go in and practice. So now I'm using my fine, sharp, safe, sharp uh, 501 bit. This is what I'm gonna be doing in the cuticle work. That's my goal, consistency. Yes, consistency is a very good goal to have. I'm gonna go in the cuticle area and flush it. She's 
Is everyone leaving not polished? What? Uh, I don't know. I saw the news this morning, but I don't know what that's about. I think it's only a few people, I believe. That's their internal strife. I don't, I'm not affiliated with Not Polish. I don't know what's going on with their team. Kind of want to stay in my own lane corner. That's their internal issue. Which five and one would you recommend for a beginner, fine, medium, or course? I recommend for a beginner, a safety. So you do not, you're not going to be using a course. There's no reason why you should be using a course. A medium fine is fine, but um, you're been using a safety. Don't get the sharp, okay? Of course, it's too gritty. That's for you to break down acrylic, not <clears throat> smooth out acrylic. When I begin, what's a good price to charge? Um, I don't really talk about pricing. Um, and I don't think beginners really should be taking clients yet. You'll know when you're confident enough to take clients. Um, when I talk about pricing, it takes me hours to talk about it because I have to break it down everything. So now it's not the time to do it. You can bring it up during my Q and A, but right now it's not the time for me to bring up pricing through it. There's too many factors. You can't go based off of my pricing either. My pricing is completely different. I always say that a beginner should definitely know what the price is because you guys have gotten your nails done before. Look at your work. How much would you willing to pay for your work? What speed are you using? I'm going at a 13. 13 speed. And this is what I hand out earlier, so I'm going to easily smooth it out. Hey, Lordy Curtis, how are you? Yeah, don't get a course if you're a beginner, okay? You're gonna wreck yourself. A course is just too gritty and it's gonna eat into the acrylic too much and, and it can really cut you really bad. It's just really sharp. I don't think I've ever used a course a bit before in my lifetime. I've seen it before and I'm like, nope, I'm not fucking with that. How often should you do a new set of nails? I do my clients every every two months. They soak off and do a new set of nails. Two months is my uh, my rule of thumb. My clients usually wear the nails a month and soak off every month. Anyways, they change their design all the time, so makes no sense. That's based on your clientele and how you train them, though. Hey Garcia, what do you recommend to be the main focus as a beginner? <laughs> application, Edgar. Working with acrylic, application should be your main focus as a beginner. Without fail. And he said it to application? <laughs> mm -hmm. He knows. He's been to my platform. I've said it a billion times. I don't know why Edgar is even asking that, Edgar. You're just asking that just to get me to say it, right? Again and again and again. I'll say it as many times as I need to. Application is all the beginner needs to focus on. You forget about the designs, the stickers, the long nails. Focus on your your short nail application, okay? That's where you're going to be making your money. A lot of you guys don't realize that short nails is where the money is, not the long nails. I can do five, six sets of short nails and make good money compared to two, three long nails I do. And I get tipped more because I get more clients. What is the best product out there for nails? There's no best product out there. The product's always increasing. 
they go off based off the, the nail tech, not the, the product, okay? Every product is similarly the same. It's up, it's you, the nail tech, that changes. It can make the product amazing or not. I'm, I'm a very big advocate for the nail tech first, the product second. You can get the best product, but if you're not, you don't have the technique or the skill or the experience to use it, it won't be, it'll be the same as you using the worst product. Please listen when I, I say that. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's just how it is. Give me the worst product, I'll do an amazing set. Give a beginning nail tech with no experience the best product, they won't be able to do what I can do with it, the worst product. Last time I got my nails done, they sliced two of my cuticles with that drill. What type of drill can I tell them to use? You don't tell them to do anything. They're the nail tech. When it happens, it's, a, it's, an, it's an accident mistake. See, I just nicked it right there. It's an accident mistake, you know? You don't just sit there and tell them, hey, you do use this drill bit, because they're probably using the, the, the same drill bit that I'm using. Um, either they weren't attentive, distracted, Or you don't go to the nail salon or up to a nail tech and tell them what to do, what to use. That's that's disrespectful. Doesn't matter how if you think you're in the right or not. Um, they'll, they'll take offense of that, so don't do that. Any tricks? There's no tricks to look at the powder ratio other than practicing. I have a video on YouTube. Um, uh, Centricia is called Look at the Powder Ratio on YouTube, Nail Dad Studios YouTube. And on that video, I sit there and I just like, um, you know, uh, I sit there and I um, pick up powder with my brush, different size brushes, and I, I explain to you guys look at the powder ratio. So you can watch that as a 17 minute video, it's actually really good. So go ahead and watch that and practice and again, you'll, you'll, get the, you'll get better at your liquid powder ratio, I guarantee you. There's just no trick to it. It's just consistency and understanding. See the, the, the guy from Columbia, he said no. I told you they played your asses. They're making up excuses so they don't give away the stuff. It's one of those fake giveaways just for clout. subscribe yeah you're welcome um that video is actually really good i actually make all my uh, students watch that video before uh class to get them allocated with liquid to powder ratio so it's easier for them to function in class i really 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 like that Yeah, for anybody that has liquid to powder ratio, I love how you always try to give help with great advice. Yeah, you're welcome. I mean, it doesn't cost me anything to give you guys advice, but if it can benefit you guys, I'm happy for you. There's a lot of people that benefit from my advice and the knowledge, the content I put out here. I just appreciate all your support on the lives, always being here, sharing, liking, also on the Instagram. So that's one of those things is a give back, give back thing, you know, to support the content creator. That's one way you can support me. The best way you can support me, I, I mostly appreciate it, is sharing the knowledge. <clears throat> We're gonna finish this up and we're gonna actually buff. Well, actually, I'm gonna clean it underneath first. Look how sharp that is. 
Chris and Shark. Hey, is that a fine or medium drill? This is a fine. Um, my fine sharp bit. These are available on my naildashop.com. But this one's actually, you know, been worn in a lot, but it's actually still pretty sharp and pretty nice. I love it. Jasmine, stop moving around so much. Seriously. Okay. You're moving, you're tensing your hand up. I'm gonna rip you another one. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up underneath. Slow it down a little bit. Put the hand around. I hear, I see the word low, and I'm gonna assume that says low or low order monomer. Do you repeat the name of the bit you have in stock? It's uh, all my bits are in stock. Do you ever use low or high speed during cuticle work? No, I use high speed. I don't ever use low speed during cuticle work. Because during cuticle work, I want to go through really quick and easy and fast. The last thing I want to do is use low speed. It takes me longer, and I'm in there longer, and more chance for me to cut the client's hands. I'm going to clean up underneath, just get rid of any excess. All these bits are on um, the website. They're all on stock right now. This is the fine, sharp, five and one. If you're a beginner, get the... Um, Get the safety bit version. This is all the excess I have on here. It's easy to get excess for with with the stilettos because they're it's just so hard to pinch off the acrylic. But make sure to clean underneath, keep it nice and crisp, okay? It adds to that sharpness also. You can use a sanding band instead of a, a, of a carbide band if you want. Okay, don't always have to use a carbide band. This is a nice bufferoni. Just gonna wash your hands and we're gonna do the art portion of this. finish shaping prep everything wash your hands that's my dust collector you guys see that dust collector all the dust that i've produced is in here 
And these are actually very affordable dust collectors and you can reuse these a lot. So you don't have to have a loud thing in your room. So I'm gonna using these paint right here. My glove on. We're doing a we're doing a French design, abstract French with these paint. I'm using a baby blue. Oh no, I mean uh, orange. These are all my pastels, so in my set, I have six neon, six pastels. These are the six pastels. Look at these vibe, nice pastel colors. Baby blue. I swear my staff uses these and they do not take care of them. They're definitely gonna get yelled at. Don't close them properly, no, that's what happens. And I'm also, I don't have a pastel on this green, so I'm gonna use this green from D&D. &D. And I'll put this on a palette. Okay, so. Here we go. Definitely clean this real quick. So I'll need this flat brush. <coughs> gonna look sexy you already know your mom is watching now This is gel art paint, so it's not going to be moving. It's going to stay nice and crisp. Hey, Gar said everything you do is fire. You already know. <laughs> Don't move, though. I swear. You keep moving, I'm going to hurt you.
this is a very pigmented pink. It won't lose the shape. See that? It'll stay. I'm actually going to do the other pinky too. First time getting my eyebrows wet. Do the definition lines with my liner brush. It's, it just saves me time to use the um, flat brush to be able to paint in. I'm just gonna use paper towel and clean my brush. I'm not gonna use acetone. Clean the other hand. Other hand. I'll do my other color. I think I'm gonna do the blue next. This set is actually on sale right now. Six neon six pastel. And this will last you forever, pretty much. It's very pigmented. So you notice? It's not gonna move, okay? I swear to God, you messed it up. I'm gonna kick you out of here with these nails undone. Brushes. She is. Oh, I, I would love brunch also. Uh, yes, and the art brushes should be coming in probably in a week or two. They'll be back in stock soon, guys. I'm sorry because it's the same company that does my um Kalinsky brushes, and they it's been a short shortage of Kalinsky lately. Kalinsky's price has gone up. That's why it's taking them up forever. 
but they'll be shipping it out and brush the, at the same time. Because these, the, see the brush I'm using right now is made of Kalinsky hair. That's why it's able to take on the pigment so well. Because it's not plastic, it's absorbing. And it gives me the ability to do very precise stuff like this. You probably you guys have probably bought Amazon brushes before. It's not the same, guys. This is more of like quality. That's why this will show up differently. You can mess them up, just get out of my seat. Bye bye. Did you dye your hair? You just noticed? No, I've been noticed. I was just asking if you do it yourself. Or no. My student from. Blonde, my student from. I, it's actually supposed to be white. When I'm finished with it. I actually, it's just turning blonde, but you see white. It's really nice, but I, I don't have the time to maintenance it. <laughs> I'm going to go back to dark soon. I don't have the time to maintenance this, this dyed hair thing. Yeah, I do too, but it's too much work. Way too much work. like that guys take, take your time okay you are, <laughs> you hold your breath uh, me too me too me too guys thank you for holding your breath thank you for all your your moral support support me with the uh, breath holding god I hate this how it's like the lighting is so off because sorry guys I'm gonna fix the lighting in my studio soon I'm gonna change it to warm lighting bring your own light no, the, it's, not, it's not the ring light. It's the, the bright lighting that I have. It makes the camera have to adjust to it. So it gets blurred out. Any warmer lighting so the camera doesn't have to adjust. Okay, you guys can breathe again.
Make sure this is straight, give me that nice edge. There you go. Four more fingers to go, guys. We're almost there. I love this orange right here, too. This nice tangerine. What are the paints on sale for? Um, you check the website, Miss Noreen. I can't tell. I know my wife put them on sale for the students to buy. I think it's pretty decent to get twelve pots of these um, six pastels, six neon for I think a pretty good price. I might have to do another style like this, but with neon colors, maybe in the summer, closer to the summer, I'll do it with neon colors and see how it turns out. I should use the pink also. I have the pastel pink. I forgot. I don't need that green. Your thumbs. Oh, this pink on pink is not bad. You already did green? No, I'm not doing the green. I'm, I'm using all the pastel for my <clears> line. <throat> Oops, sorry. I use my flat brush to paint in. finish and then we're gonna do some finishing touches with the outline and we'll 
be able to do the matte top coat. It looks so nice. And you guys get to see my matte in action. You see these styles online, you think it's easy? It is easy, it just takes time, patience, okay? Take your time. You rush this, it's not gonna come out the way you want it. I guarantee you that. The precision takes time. Every little thing matters. Don't move. I have to be precise, have to be perfect. If it's not perfect, we ain't, we ain't doing it. There you go. I'm back. Oh my God. Guys, I thought I, I got disconnected for a second. The, the internet connection is terrible. So I'm, now I'm gonna take my white. And give that last bit of
Oh, thank you, Miss Noreen. How many clients I have today? I have one day, one client because I have to um this client only because I have to um actually um go get food for my daughter's birthday. Pick up stuff for my daughter's birthday here. Probably try to get her a present too. It was her birthday yesterday. We're doing the party today. So I'll be out of here after this client. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit quiet because when it comes to this detail, plus when my client's moving a lot. <clears throat> and that's my white. There you guys have it. See the comments. What's going on? Is it freezing on me? Yeah, it's going wonky. Internet's going in and out. Hopefully, you guys are still here. My internet, am I? Are you able to see the live still, Jasmine? No, I'm not on it. Let's see if we can get back on it. Because I think my, my internet's dying. Uh, yeah, it's still here. Okay. Something wrong with my iPad then. Um, This is my own brand, Yavo. Miss Yavo's in here. How are you? If I, you don't know Yavo, she's a very amazing nail artist. She does amazing work. I think I've seen you do one of these sets, right? It's very popular now, huh, y'all? Yeah. DM me, y'all. I can send you some. I reformulated my black and white gel. They're so nice now. That's all she wrote, guys. running but so now I'm gonna put this away this was my art pastel collection uh, you get 12 of these six pastels six neons same consistency actually very good I've had this for like what a long time you really never gonna use all of this this is my white now I'm gonna use let me see, zoom out for you guys here. This is the final look. You see how the lines are very crisp. Now I'm gonna use a matte top coat. This is my new matte. I guess you guys see my top already, so let's see the matte in action. That's actually very nice and smooth. I know a lot of times you guys use matte top coat. That's very uh, dark and thick. Mine aren't like that, like, like a little bit thick. Mine aren't like that, but it still give you that velvety texture, okay?
tuan-tuan. You know, when I picked, uh, when I chose the colors for this collection, that my gel art collection, I literally chose it for instances like this. When clients want these like a pastel, like Frenches and stuff like that, I hate going and picking out colors. So I'd rather just have all the colors in one. Are you guys ready for the matte look? You know, I know you guys already saw my my top coat. How shiny it is. You see my matte? It doesn't, it's not like, it's not like a really cloudy. It still has a nice consistency. Very nice consistency. Take it out. Just like it. Look at that mat and tell me, tell me, this mat is not everything. It's very smooth, not thick. You don't, you don't lose the shape because it's not thick. When I polish, you don't lose the shape. The worst things when you do when you do polish, you lose the shape. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys joining me. Um, like always, make sure you follow the Instagram below. We're gonna do the giveaway tonight. I'll be giving away my matte and my top, and also my new white and black, silver, gold, and rose gold, and also a dampen dish. So let's see that other hand. 